Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we thought we'd do a nice little video um, to talk about some of our favourite moments of the Liverpool women's season. Um, first season in the championship, obviously not what we wanted. Yeah, but we have done a whole video having a big discussion about um, our season, a season review if you will, um, so check that out if you haven't already. But I think we'll just dive straight in, we'll kick things off with our favourite game of this season. Um, there's been a few. There has been a few. There's been some good moments, there's been some bad moments, mm -hmm. but we'll focus on the positives. Um, do you want to go first? I can. Um, I did have a couple, but the one that I've gone with, which is the one I originally said I wasn't going to go with, but now I have <laughs> gone with, is the 3-1 against United. Oh, that was mine. Um, because, wow. Yeah. You know what? Everyone wrote us off, off for that game, and we knew that everyone had already determined that we wasn't mm. going to win that game. They had Tobin Heath, Kristen Press, Ella Toon, all of these giant yeah. players, Jackie Gronin, and... They were like, nah, these ain't gonna, these nah. ain't Liverpool ain't gonna win against them, and we did. Rachel you know Fairness was like, not today, guys. No, not they, today. It was unbelievable, and I mean, Riley Foster as well, yeah. thrown in at the deep end, made that amazing save from Tobin Heath in the first like ten minutes. Yeah, and it was like, oh my god, it was going on. Um, but it, yeah, what a game, yeah. what a game, and to, what a to day. just, oh god, I was so gutted I couldn't make yeah. it, but I mean, at least it was on the on the telly, which was good. Yeah, but I can imagine no fans. It was still the atmosphere was incredible. Oh yeah, I mean, I was like, you know, put like the fact that like we we do like the work on matches and stuff like that aside. I was like the biggest fangirl, fangirl that day. It was unbelievable. Yeah. We've not we've never won against United either, and you know oh what we gosh, yeah. we had such a terrible time when they first were in um, the WSL. Yeah. Such that away a game terrible that time. we went to was so hard. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That in itself, that that game we won just made up for everything yeah, else. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It that, was a good day. Yeah. That I put that down as mine as well. But I've also, I feel like I'm going to go with Coventry United at home um, not so long ago. Only Very nice. Weeks ago. Very good. I think it was a nice, it was just, it was just a really nice game. It's so good when we dominate them. Yeah. We we dominated from the first minute to the last minute. You know, there was five goals. There was mm -hmm. a couple of different goal scorers. And the the team, I remember sitting there watching it that day and thinking this team just looks like they're really enjoying playing Definitely. football today. Mm -hmm. and I think that's like when when your team performs like that, that's the best because mm -hmm. you enjoy it then as well because you know that they're having a a good time and mm -hmm. we just played really well like Kelly Holland was a standout performer in that game um you know there was loads of moments that just throughout it that was just like wow like I just really and I just remember the feeling of just being really Fahey happy as well yeah and Eva he having an absolute banger of a game like scoring worldies unreal like it was just yeah I just remember watching it and just feeling like really happy to like watch Content, a game yeah, yeah watch the game watch the yeah. game of football i think there's been a couple of times this season that you haven't had that feeling mm -hmm. but that game was definitely one of them where i thought wow this is yeah i'm really enjoying this mm -hmm. definitely yeah um we'll move on to play of the season mm. i think this, this is, is a, difficult this is a big one i i struggled with this one i'm gonna be honest do you want to go first for this one seeing as i went first last time okay well, it took me a minute to think about it, and there was a few that I could have I, I could have chosen from. Um, but I've I've gone with Neofahi, nice. and simply because, you know, this season's been really difficult. She's obviously come into this one, captain, a, a lot of weight on her shoulders. A lot of mm -hmm. players would have been looking at her for guidance, guidance really, throughout yeah. the season, alongside Rachel Finch with them two being um, mm -hmm. captain and vice captain, and you know. The f for all that far he's been through in her career, she's the perfect person to be in this situation with, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And there's just been moments this season where she's just had, like, a true captain's performance and just being, like, a real leader for this squad. You know, I mentioned, like, in our um, season review, like, that one that one game, the Leicester defeat at home and her coming out and her being the one having to do the media. And mm -hmm. there's been a few times this season I think she's just sort of been, like... I'd almost name her like a garden light at times for a lot of players, both yeah. on the pitch and off the pitch. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she probably deserves a lot of recognition for, yeah. for that. Well, she was thrown into being the captain anyways because Sophie Bradley Orkman obviously having to take the time off. 
um through covid so she was kind of thrown into it yeah but like as you said completely took it in a stride and made it made that role her own um and like when you especially when fans haven't been there the season the few times that i've been able to go you can hear her and you can oh, hear yeah. her communicating with not just the black line but the players that are, that are attacking at the front as well and um she's such a vocal voice and like yeah that interview will stick out with us for a while because it was really difficult but like props to her for actually keeping it together and and doing that because it's it's like a top professional thing to do yeah. isn't it and i think with her just being like a liverpool fan as well it just helps doesn't yeah, it yeah she just cares she just cares about the club and the team so much that like she'll do it she'll she run into a brick wall for literally them, yeah. would run through a brick wall for this club do you know what i mean and that's what that's everything you you want in a captain yeah i've gone for um missy vokens yeah. because i think in a season just full of craziness madness and sometimes horribleness mm. she's just excelled in in every yeah. single way shape or form She's doubled the amount of game time she's had probably in the last two seasons to put together. Scoring goals, assisting, is the set piece taker. Yeah. And she's just like, she's there. She's cemented in that in that squad. And I think almost with the lack of squad depth that we've had, she's been able to do that, yeah. which is probably a, a, a good thing that's come out of the season is how incredible she is. And the fact that we have her and she's a scouser, she's a Liverpool fan. I don't see her going anywhere else mm. anytime soon. Um, and I think she's just been incredible. And like the way you can see she's evolved as well. Yeah. The, her game, like she can play a little bit deeper. She can play a little bit forward. She's assisting knee far, left, right mm. and centre. Um, she's just really, really good. And I think this season's done her the world, world of good to sort of show the world that everyone knows she's good. We yeah. hear all inside inside our training, she pings balls in mm. left, right and centre. But to, for us to actually see it in the flesh week in, week out, yeah, I think it's been amazing. Um, and it, and like, it helps that... She, she she's from Liverpool. She she loves the club and and she'd do anything for it. Like we said about Neve. Mm. Um, so it, I think for me she she's definitely my place. season. you know what? There was a good shout from Michaela Moore as well. Shout out because she's one of yeah. my faves at the moment. She's been absolutely incredible this yeah. season as her first season at Liverpool. Yeah, definitely. I think probably like Rachel Laws as well. She's really yeah. she's done really well. Obviously Becky Fern Jane. There's Be so yeah, many. Becky Jane. Fanny had her moments before she got injured. Ashley Hodson. Kay Holland, there's 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 loads. Roberts, yeah. you could you could have picked any. Taylor Hines has been so consistent all Amy season Rogers. as well. Yeah, there's just loads. That we you just could racked have, off the whole of the we've team. We've literally just said like our whole start eleven basically. Pretty um, much. but yeah, they've all had the moments obviously. Mm -hmm. But obviously, we've gone with someone we think's had like a solid season from start to finish. Yeah. Um, we're gonna look at performances then. Yeah. Would you? Ch who would you choose? Uh, as a performance two. of the season. So this is one standout game that, and a you player. Pick, that you picked a player out and thought they absolutely dominated that match. Who, who are you going for? Have you got one solid one? I've got you? one solid one. Yeah. Okay, you say yours because I've got two. So whichever one, if we've gone the same path, I'll yeah. pick the one that you've not done. I've gone very recent. Have you gone Riley Foster Sheffield? Yeah. Oh, nice. I've gone Riley. That was one of my options. It was just it's fresh in my head because it wasn't so it wasn't too long ago, but I just think like obviously she, she, she just signed a new deal recently and she's come in and she's been. Laws has been injured. So Laws been chance. injured. She's really stepped up to the plate. She's took that number one role and that game was just mad. And obviously the penalty save in the last minute, like absolutely throwing a body on the line to like just deny that last minute equaliser. And there was other moments throughout the game where like she pulled off some really good saves. And I just think like it's this has been consistent throughout the whole season. Fair, it's just like a communication is like second to none. Mm -hmm. And I think that really helps when like Rachel Laws is the same, but the fact that you can have the communication between your keeper and your back four, like she did, especially mm -hmm. in that game as well. I just thought... You know what, I'd give it one. to her just for when, at the end, the last game of the season, when she was walking out after the final whistle gone, she was walking, because she, she won't play, she's in, she, I think she's just concussion, hasn't yeah. she? She was walking out the, the row, going back down to go towards, like, to go meet the team, and she was like, what did she say? She was like, what a great season, everyone. See, see you next, again. See you next year, <laughs> everyone. Like, I'm going to give it to you <laughs> She was, oh, she's brilliant. What a character. Yeah. What a character. Re yeah, just, yeah. I'd love to have a drink with her. I think she's oh, boss. Let's make it happen. <laughs> let's anyone. make it happen if you're watching, right? Uh, 
Go on, who are you Mine, choosing? that was one of my options, but I've gone for Neve Fahey versus Coventry because, I mean, when your captain is, is scores two and is on for a hat-trick... When your captain scores a volley and, and she just sends a back. What a legend. Yeah. What a legend, by the yeah. way. Uh, I mean, I won't go too into it because we've spoken a lot about Neve, yeah. but that's probably my moment. What a win in terms of a team performance as well. Five goals against Coventry Yeah. Um, at home was absolutely phenomenal. Loved every second of it. Yeah, I think there's a good show for, like... K- Kerry Holland to have a few standout performances. Kerry as Holland, well. Charlton when she comes on for yeah. a debut at halftime scores. <laughs> yeah, Ashley Hudson's had a fair few yeah. good games this season. Becky Jane's had a moment. Tell you what, that Amy Rogers finish against London City. Oh, what a finish! Yeah, what a finish! Amazing. I lo- yeah. I was waiting for that clip to watch her back. Michaela Moore, London City getting a first goal header. Yeah, good moment. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot. There's been a lot. There's been a lot, but. We've Who, gone with the we've gone with our faves there. We, we have, we have. Um Unsung Hero then. I've gone for Ashley Hodson because I think the absolute assist queen. <laughs> absolute assist queen. And you know what? She's she's come she's come through a lot, you know. Obviously all the injuries she's had, longest serving player at mm. Liverpool. In and out of the squad, left, right and centre. I don't know what it is about this season, but it, to me it feels like she's gained and like extra pace from somewhere yeah. she is lightning down that wing and she's so that's why she's got so many assists because she can get down the wing and yeah. scoop it in um but just what what a great character um and the co- the commitment and loyalty to the club in itself is just second to none so yeah. that's that's why i've gone i've gone with ash hodson don't get talked about too much no so that's why i think she's a bit unsung yeah no i completely agree with that i i picked two bo Kins is one of them yeah um because obviously she's Bo Salah. Bo Salah, yeah. <laughs> she's she's been amazing. And, and like all the points you pointed out before when you picked every player this season. Like completely agree with all of them. Um but I think I'm gonna go with Becky Jane. Just Shout. because Shout. Because, you know, she she started the season at right back, solid right back, but then all of a sudden she's playing on the wing one day. Mad. And it was just like a revelation. Yeah, I feel like it was one of the best things to happen this season was Becky Jane playing on the wing. Yeah, without a doubt. Because her pace is incredible, and she's scoring goals. And she's get she's scoring goals, and she's getting in the box. She's that player. Mm-hmm. Like her goal at the weekend was the perfect example of, you know, she's the first one. If you watch her build up uh, of play for Liverpool on the attack, she's the first one, and she just races into that box. Because she know so she quick. knows something's gonna happen, mm-hmm. and that's where she's got most of her goals from this season. Is because she's just been in the right place at the right time, mm. and I think her being moved onto the wing at the time that she did was perfect timing. We needed it was something someone. new as well, wasn't it? Yeah, we needed someone there, and you know she, I, she was probably surprised just as much yeah. as we were when Amber um, probably came to her one day and was like I'm going to play on the wing at the weekend and it's like okay. oh right then yeah <laughs> but like I also like the fact that you can have Becky Jane and Roberts down that right hand side you just I feel very secure about that yeah I feel good like it's very safe good partnership yeah Um, and yeah they work really well together so I feel like Becky Jane probably deserves a, a really good mention for this season Defo. yeah Defo. but yeah they're, they're all the moments that we wanted to discuss this season um there's been a lot yeah we could have picked a handful it's always when you talk about it that something else pops in your head you think oh i should have said this should have said this but yeah um let us know what your favorite moments of the season were in the comment section below um yeah like i said at the start of the video we did film a season review so if you haven't already go and check that out but yeah thank you very much for watching and remember to like the video comment subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all next time bye Thank you.